Okay, so this is the project that we're going to be working on today. You can unbutton this right here and hang this on something. Is it's about 12 inches and then with this buttoned we're looking at about 14 inches with this on there okay here's the back side here's the front side and I think you are going to love this stitch look at that it is beautiful we're going to do some surface slip stitching. If you don't know how to do that, this is the uh, place to learn. Okay, guys. Um, let's see what supplies you need for this. Um, I'm just using a three-weight yarn. And I happen to be using some Friends Cotton 8-8 and Rainbow Cotton uh, from Hobie. They're a three-weight, three-light 200 yards in the dark and about 50 yards or less really in the white. Um, and then you're going to need a pair of scissors, a one and one fourth inch button, a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, and you'll need a yarn needle to uh, weave in your loose ends. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this project. So we're going to start off chaining 53. So I'm going to leave a loose strand of yarn here. I'm putting my hook behind my yarn, and then I'm twisting around like that. Okay. And I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through the loop on my hook. So that's one chain. Grab my yarn, pull through the loop on the hook. That's two chains. And just keep repeating that till you get 53 chains. Okay, so I will meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so I just reached the um, amount of 53 chains. So now we're going to single crochet back loop in the third chain from the hook. So here is the back loops right back here. Here is the front. Normally you would go into this loop right here, but this time we're going to go into the back loop. So one, two, three, single crochet in the third back loop. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet back loop in the remaining chains. So just insert your hook in the that back loop that's back behind. If it's uncomfortable for you, just go ahead and single crochet in the loop itself. But if you'll turn your chain over, you'll see these back loops back here. It just makes a nice finished edge for your crochet. Just like that. Like I said, just turn it, that's your front, and then turn it and look in the back and you'll see these little back loops. Okay guys, I will meet you when you get to the end. You should have 51 single crochets. Okay, so I just finished with row one. So for row two, we are going to chain two, one, two, we're going to turn our work now we're going to slip stitch into this first stitch right here. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And that's a slip stitch. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So that's a half double crochet. We're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So insert your hook in the stitch, grab your yarn and pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Half double crochet the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over pull through all three loops okay Grab slip stitch next stitch insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through the loop on your hook and you just keep repeating that half double crochet next stitch slip stitch next stitch half double crochet next stitch slip stitch next stitch okay just like that okay so i will meet you when you get to the end okay, so i just finished with row two so for row three we are going to chain two one two going to turn our work okay so for row three four and five you're going to repeat row two and then row six we are going to actually change into the light colored yarn so i'll get you started on this row three but it's three four and five are all repeating row two so we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch so insert your hook grab your yarn pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and then you're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Half double crochet the next and just keep repeating this all the way across and just do that for rows three, four, and five, and I will meet you when you get to the end of row five. Okay, so I'm finishing my last stitch, which is a slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to switch over to a lighter color yarn, and in this one, I'm going to use white. So leave a long strand Insert your hook in the two front loops. There you go, like that. Leave that loop up there. Grab your yarn and pull through. Okay. And Go ahead and make two chains. Now go ahead and take this yarn right here and pull that out like that. Okay, so you can crochet, you can fasten that off. You can crochet that in as you work your single crochets or you can um, weave it in later with a yarn needle. So what we're going to do is we're going to Work a single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So just for the tutorial here, I'm going to leave mine out. I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch and in each stitch all the way across. So once again, you still have just 61 stitches. I mean, I'm sorry, 50 one stitches so just make continue making a single crochet in each stitch all the way across just like this now when you get to the end you're going to um, this is row six Row six through 12 is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Now, um, to start each row, you will chain two at the end of each row, and then you will turn and you'll single crochet in that same first stitch. So do that for row six through 12. And I will meet you back when you get to the end of row 12. So go ahead and pause this video and um, work single crochet all the way up to row 12 and this right here is what you're working you just finished these now you're working row 6 through 12 is don't worry about this stripe you're going to go back in and do this surface slip stitching later right now you're just working single crochet all the way up 
for uh, six row six through twelve. And like I said, be sure and chain two at the end of each row. And the reason I do that is because it helps the sides of your it helps the sides here um, just be more straighter. I feel like. And you see how working in the back bump, how it made that bottom row pretty? Look at that. It's very nice of a bottom row. Look at that. Very pretty. Okay. So I'll meet you back at the uh, end of row 12. Okay. So we're on my last stitch for row 12. So go ahead and make your single crochet. Just pull up a loop. Now, once again, to change colors, because now to change colors, I'm gonna insert my hook behind these two loops right here. You can change colors however you'd like, but this is just the way that I prefer to change colors. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my new color. And I'm going to pull it through. So I'm going to go ahead and chain two. All right, now I'm going to take that white yarn and pull that like that. And it is locked in there. So I'm going to fasten off the white yarn. Now we're going to work the rest of this with this darker color yarn. So I've chained two, now I'm going to turn my work. Okay, so now you're going to, for rows 13 through 50, you're going to repeat row two. So once again, you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch, you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch and just keep repeating this all the way across slip stitch in the next stitch half double crochet the next stitch okay just keep repeating that all the way across and um, when you get to the end be sure and chain two and if you want, you can go ahead and weave your ends in. If you'd like, I think I might go ahead and do that with mine. And, um, yeah, so just rows 16, I mean rows 13 through 50, you're going to repeat row 2. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. So when you get ready to add um, another skein to your project here, Here's how you do it. This is your um, your the one that you have that you're working on, and this is your new skein. So you just put them together like this. Okay, take this yarn and wrap around, and have that yarn in there. Wrap around your finger, pull it over your loop. And then tighten it okay and then you're going to do this in the same way so let's watch this again you can put it in slow-mo if you need to wrap the yarn around your thumb make sure that yarn is back there like that okay now pull the yarn off of your thumb onto your finger over here the pointer finger and then take that strand of yarn pull it through and tie a knot so you have two knots okay so now you just pull together like that and then you can take these two strands at this point you can fasten them off just like that And then your strings, strands are attached. There you go. And then you can just crochet. 
or you can just do it the other way where you just add it as you crochet but I prefer to do it this way so that's just a little tip I want to show you in case you want would like to learn to do it this way um, you can do it okay, so now once you get to the end of row 50 for row 51 we're going to chain two turn our work and we're going to make a half double crochet in the first stitch And then we're going to make a half double crochet decrease in each remaining stitch. And so what, how you do that is you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet decrease. Let's do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, you got four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then just keep repeating that, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And just keep repeating that all the way across. I just finished with row 51 and you should have 25 stitches. And it's starting to pull in like this because of your decreases. So go ahead and chain two, one and two, turn your work. And now for row 52, we're going to work half double crochet creases, decreases all the way across. So that means you should end up with 13 half double crochets. So once again, yarn over, insert your hook in that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Do it again. And just keep repeating these decreases all the way across. Okay, and you should have 13 half double crochet decreases. Okay, so I just finished my last half double crochet decrease for row 52, and I have 13 stitches. So for row 53 through 70, we are going to work half double crochet all the way across. So chain two, turn your work. You just work a half double crochet, just like that. It's one, two, three, four, five. Just keep doing that, just like that, all the way across. And when you get to the end, you're going to chain two, turn, and do it again. And you're going to do that for rows 53 through 70. Just make sure you always chain two and then turn your work. All right, I'll meet you when you get to the end of row 70. Okay, so now we just finished row 70. So for row 71, we're going to chain two, turn our work. And for row 71, we're going to half double crochet in the first five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and in this fourth chain, we're going to do a half double crochet And in the last four stitches, a half double crochet.
Okay, so for row 71, you should have five half double crochets, a chain three, skip three, and five half double crochets. For row 71. Okay, so for row 72, we're going to chain two, one, two, turn our work, and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way across, including the three chains. So we're back to having 13 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, gotta get both stitches in there. Okay, you can go ahead and crochet under them if you'd like, or you can crochet in the chain. I'm just going to crochet underneath. And there's all three. Okay. And now, I have to double crochet in the last five stitches. There we go. That's going to be your buttonhole. Okay, so for row 73, we're going to chain two, and we're going to turn our work, and this is going to be our last row. So we're going to half double crochet all the way across. Okay, so I just finished that last one, and now we are done with that. So we're going to go ahead and fasten this off. And now we're going to weave this in with our yarn needle. There we go. We'll go ahead and fasten that off. Okay, so this is what we've got now. Okay, so you can turn this over like this and we're going to place our button right here. Make sure that this is your front side, and I don't know if you can tell it or not, but the back side where this dark uh, yarn connects to the white yarn, it has a little bit of that light yarn showing through. I'm using that as my back side. And see the front doesn't have that. Okay, so that's where I'm folding this over this way. So that I can place my button right here. And you're going to use a strand of yarn. And get a um, yarn needle. Just thread it like that. Okay, go ahead and place your button where you want that to be. About like 
that. So go ahead and take your yarn needle through the back side. Make sure you leave a strand of yarn because you're going to tie it off. So I'm going to leave about that much. And just go back through. And you may have a, a four hole or a two hole um, button. And if your button holes aren't big enough for these, this yarn needle to go through, just use regular thread and a regular yarn needle or sewing needle. Okay, now in the back, we're just going to tie this off like this just a couple of times. All right, now let's fasten that off. There we go. And now, we should be able to button that. There you go. And see that one has two holes and this one has four holes. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is our slip stitch. Now here's the slip stitch if you choose to do that. So you, you don't have to, but you, you can leave it like this if you want, or you can add the slip stitch. So I'll go ahead and show you how to add slip stitch. All right, we're going to work on this row right here. I'm going to insert our hook. I'm going to grab the yarn underneath. Pull through, leave a strand of yarn. And you're going to work with the yarn from the back side. And just go into the next stitch grab the yarn back there it's a little hard at first and then pull the yarn through so go into the next stitch grab the yarn from the back side pull through okay set your hook grab the yarn from the back side pull through and just keep repeating this all the way across. Like this. When you grab your yarn from the back side, you're just doing like this. See, and you're pulling it through. You pull it through the loop. Okay, I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so when you finish the row, it's gonna look like that. And then you just cut your yarn off. And you take this yarn and pull the strand through. Okay, and then when you get to the other end that you started with, you're going to take your yarn needle. And looks like I should have left my strand a little longer. So guys, you're watching that. Leave your strand a little longer. You're going to go into that stitch right there and it's going to smooth that one out and make it nice and even okay and then you just weave this in as you um, go to the next row so what you're going to do here is you're going to do the same thing right here and right there and if you want you could just do it here and leave this open or you can just leave it all open you got options 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.